There are plenty of famous moments that make up baseball history, but probably none more famous than Babe Ruth's called home run shot. But what many people don't realize or remember is that it happened right at Wrigley Field. It was game three of the 1932 World Series. And Babe Ruth playing for the Yankees steps up to bat in a tied game. Apparently, the Cubs dugout had been harassing the Babe all game long, and this at bat proved to be no different. So in response to the harassment, the Babe took a step out of the box and pointed to the center field bleachers, apparently calling a shot before the first pitch had even been thrown. After the first two pitches went by the Babe and were called for strikes, he stepped out of the box one more time and pointed to the exact same place in center field. This drew more ire and harassment from the Cubs bench, and soon fans in the stands were getting in on the action too. But after the third pitch of the at-bat came by, the Babe swung for the fences and hit a deep fly ball to center field. The ball itself landed far beyond the bleachers itself, somewhere among the flags, right by the scoreboard. It was exactly where the Babe himself had pointed to. Now this is a story that's according to Babe Ruth's autobiography that was written 16 years after the incident had actually occurred. But in an interview that happened right after the game, the Babe himself said that he was just pointing to the Cubs bench in order to try and quiet the razzing. So where did the legend actually start then? Apparently, it was just one reporter that day who had said he called his famous shot. Every other person who was there said he had either pointed to the bench, like the Babe initially said, or was pointing to the pitcher in question. Regardless of what actually happened that day, the legend of Babe Ruth's called home run shot still stands as one of the most famous moments in baseball history, if not the most famous moment to occur at Wrigley Field.